Hey guys, this is Gaijin Hunter. As you know, my daughter Yuna absolutely adores the Thunder Serpent Narwa. She shared with me something that is fascinating, so I did some research, and what we have is a possible inspiration for the design of the monster that is insanely interesting, and also shows the incredible depths in which the designers at Capcom are probably digging for research. First, let's look at the possible origins of her name. In Japanese, Narwa is called Naruhatata Hime, which is believed to be derived from Naru Kami, which refers to Raijin or the god of thunder and lightning, Hatata Kami, which refers to sudden and violent thunder, and Hime Kami, which is a suffix given to goddesses in the Shinto religion. This also makes tons of sense considering wind serpent Ibushi is called Ibushi Maki Hiko in Japanese, and its likely origins are Ibuki for the breath of wind, Shimaki, which means violent winds, and Hikokami, which is a suffix given to male deities, specifically those that are a spouse of a female deity as well. There are all sorts of neat cultural references that one can derive from the tale of Narwa and Ibushi, like the tale of Orihime and Hikoboshi, the two icons from the Tanabata Star Festival that are only allowed to meet each other like once a year. There are also tons of keywords and references to the tale of male Izanagi and the female Izanami, with the two having eight children which were the islands of Japan. Even the legend talks about how they circled around each other in their meeting when they got married, which we can see references to in the cutscene where both Ibushi and Narwa meet. There are stories of Izanagi traveling to the underworld, which echoed the events of the final battle in the game, and what is even more fascinating is that they use the expression which in English was translated as tear apart the skies and rend the clouds asunder. And while Yakumo only refers to clouds that are layered, Yakumo Mura is also the place near the location believed to be the burial site for Izanami. It also happens to be located in the Shimane Prefecture, a place known as the Birth of Tatara Steel, which Kamara is also known for. Now onto the visual design. The year is 1804. While a farmer was cultivating land in the area now known as North Otsu in Japan, an unknown fossil was found. This was presented to the 10th daimyo of the domain named Yasusada Honda, who then consulted Confucian scholars and they determined that it was the fossil from a dragon. Yasusada commissioned the artist to draw the beast, and the farmer who found it was given the family name of Ryu, meaning dragon. A small shrine was also erected at the spot as well, called the Fukuryushi. Now, take a look at this image. Does it not bear the resemblance to Thunder Serpent Narwa? Now, the fossil was eventually determined, of course, by German geologist uh, Heinrich Edmund Naumann, sorry if I butchered the name, to be the lower jaw of a Stegodon. Uh, Orientalis, an ancient-like elephant beast that lived around 500,000 years ago. The descendants of the farmer who found the fossil still carry the family name of Ryu, and after 200 years of careful preservation, Ikuko Ryu, which is one of the descendants, donated the scrolls that were bestowed upon the family for the discovery to the local history museum where they've now been designated by the government as intangible cultural assets. The fossils apparently can be found on display at the National Museum of Nature and Science in Japan, which I might actually go and see. Anyways, you can see that the team has put in a lot of effort to reference specifically Japanese mythology and have pulled tons of keywords from different aspects to create this monster. As a fan of both Narwa and Japanese culture, I find this stuff endlessly fascinating, and I thought you might enjoy to know a little bit about it as well. Hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, happy hunting!